You've heard this, away from me, I never knew you. And it scared you, right? Well, it is a scary scripture, and Jesus said that. And a lot of pastors and authors of books have illustrated that to scare you and make you think you're not a Christian if you are one. And what it is, it's a way of controlling people. And you got to be very careful with these scriptures. You need to read them in context of what Jesus was saying. And we're going to look at that right now in the context of what he was saying. So let's check it out. All right. Away from me, I never knew you. Matthew chapter 7. So let's continue. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. So what is the will of the Father? That's the main question, right? What is his will? Jesus said it in John chapter 6. Some won't like this, but it's true. For this is the will of my Father. This is what Jesus said. That everyone who sees the Son of God and believes in him, believes in him, will have eternal life, believes in him. And I myself will raise him up on that last day. A lot of people don't like that. They call it easy believism. But that would mean that there's no grace. Because grace has to be free. It has, they'll say, that's cheap grace. Don't preach that. Well, if it's not cheap, could you afford it? I couldn't. Only God can pay for you. He did pay for you when he died, when Jesus died on that cross. And he made the way. It's a free gift from God to believe in him and trust him. And then he creates a new work in you and you get to work for him. That's how it works, my friend. So what is the will of the Father? To believe on him, Jesus. That's the will of the Father. That's what he's talking about here. This is an amazing thing here because a lot of pastors and leaders, I think they try and use this to control people, and it's not good. Okay, let's continue on with this. Many will say, oh, let's go back to that real quick. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? So now he's speaking to those that he rejects, right? Didn't we prophesy in your name? How many of those TV evangelists have you seen acting like they're prophesying uh, about people or whatever, and it's a big lie, and they're you know they're totally conning people, old ladies and things like that, to steal their money. And did not did we not cast out demons and and in your name perform many miracles? Well, uh, throughout church history, there's been like you know the Inquisition where they were torturing people, even Jewish people. This was evil and killing them in the name of Jesus, acting like they were casting out demons and things like that. Do you think those people knew Jesus? Would he want them doing that? Heck, no. He never knew them, right? So let's continue on. And then I will declare to them, Jesus says, this is serious, I never knew you. That's the key, you guys. I never knew you is what Jesus is saying. Now, if you've been born again, you will know it. I know when I was 13 years old in Tucson, Arizona, I was born again. As a child of God, I knew it happened. How do I know? Because I was there when it happened. (laughs) I met Jesus Christ. He entered into my heart, into my life. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. And I know him and he knows me. Am I perfect? No, I mess up all the time. And if you're honest, you do too. But here's the point. I know him and he knows me. That means relationship. And Jesus says, away from me to these guys, he says, I never knew you. Never is the key word, you guys. And remember, the will of the Father is believing in him. So he said, I never, never knew you to these guys. If you've known him and he knows you, you're safe with him. Okay, does he know you? That's a good question. Does he know you? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe you don't know him. Therefore, Jesus said, everyone who hears the words, these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And who's the rock? Yes, Jesus, the Lord himself is the rock. So Romans 8 says this, therefore, there is now no condemnation, that means no punishment, no part of God's wrath at all 
for those who are in Christ Jesus. Are you in Christ Jesus? Do you know him? Does he know you? Well, right now, you're going to have an opportunity. Just in a minute here, you're going to have an opportunity to pray, to receive Christ, to be born again if you haven't. You can do this right where you're at watching this video, and I'll lead you in a prayer. You're going to be praying from your heart to God. You're going to say, Lord Jesus, I want you to come into my life. I want you to rule my life. I want you to be my Lord and my Savior. That's what it's about. And you can do that, my friend. He's a simple prayer away. Would you like to do that? Would you like to pray that prayer? If that's you, if that's speaking to your heart, don't harden your heart. Soften it. Let him in. Try. Don't try. Just receive him. It's just a prayer of faith. It means you're believing, you're trusting in him. Would you like to do that? Say this prayer after me. Repeat these words. Ready? Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I'm sorry for my sin. I believe that Jesus died on the cross. I believe he shed his blood for me. And I believe that in three days he was raised from the dead and he's alive today. I choose to follow him as my Lord and as my Savior from this day forward. I pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, my friend. All of heaven rejoices over one who gives their life to Jesus, who who repents. That means turns around and goes to God instead of running away from him. You just did that. You are now a child of God. You can comment down below. I'd love to pray for you if you want. Um, And by the way, you can click on this whole playlist, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. It's a great way to learn the whole Bible, the whole counsel of God. That's what this this whole channel is all about. My channel is all about using the whole counsel of God. So God bless you. Click on this playlist right here. I love you.